Good morning all. Beautiful day. Now I was just traipsing along on this section of beach and I saw the old familiar seagull and I thought well what the hell. It's, uh, it does deserve a spot in the bird world of course and I'm doing this little uh, series of bird clips. So I thought although they're so numerous they're often overlooked and because of some of their scavenging habits they're pretty maligned as well but thought I might as well include them. Uh, this is the Australian seagull known as the silver gull. Uh, its Latin name is Crococephalus novae hollandiae. Um, Crococephalus is I guess the genus but you don't need too much of a good understanding for Latin to know that the second part novae hollandiae means New Holland. Um, which is what the uh, first um, Europeans to uh, discover this great southern land put it on the maps as New Holland. Anyway this is the silver gull. Most countries have gulls of some sort or another. This one is smaller than the uh, northern variety uh, which is also called the herring gull. Um, and it's also smaller than the uh, kelp gulls which are about twice the size and weight of our silver gulls. Um, more like a skua or a uh, petrel, a giant petrel. Um, the silver gull is, as you can see, white on the head and belly. The wings are a nice sort of silvery grey, uh, tipped with black, and the tail is also uh, black and white banded. In the adult, the legs are very red, as is the beak and the eye ring. Um, the juveniles, um, well the little baby, the chicks are really spotty, like a little, like, tiny little fluffy baby emu, sort of spotty and stripy. Uh, but even when they're fully fledged, the, uh, even when they're fully fledged, the young, younger ones are sort of, uh, their legs are brown, their beaks are brown and they still retain quite a bit of the spottiness in the plumage. Um, what else can I tell you about the silver gull? Well there's a lot more of them around now than there was half a century ago. Um, around about the 50s and 60s there was a massive influx of um, migrants into Australia and um, Consequently, there was a lot more refuse and refuse tips began overflowing and uh, so these birds being uh, opportunistic um, did a lot of scavenging and their numbers exploded. In fact, on some of the offshore islands where the birds have, seabirds have their rookeries, uh, there's so many silver gulls now there that the um, other birds like the terns and noddies and so on uh, are having trouble finding nesting spaces. Um, so yeah, they, they are a, a bit of a pest in, in that sort of, uh, in that way. Um, yeah, they're mostly scavenged, you can see them here on the weed, um, picking out little things from the weed. And uh, yeah, human, um, human habitation has uh, actually benefited them insofar as their numbers. Uh, there's um, about 18 different types of related birds, like the gulls, that, that in terms of Pippets and uh, noddies and terns, uh, shearwaters, skuas, petrels, birds like that. Um, but yeah, they uh, they lay about two or three little speckled eggs, really well uh, camouflaged eggs, and and the young are also uh, similar to the eggs. They're tan coloured and covered in little spots. Usually lay about two or three eggs a season, but uh, usually only one of the chicks survives. You can see there's quite a few of them around here now. I've just been sitting still and they're all over the place. I'm trying to find a, a sub-adult to show you the colour of the 
Well, there's something you don't see every day. There's some ducks on the beach mingling with the seagulls. I think it's because all this weed has been washed up here. They've, uh, there's lots of little hoppers and uh, crustaceans and things stuck in the weed, so it's not unusual to see ducks in the salt water. But uh, yeah, it's also not very common. There go the ducks and the seagulls together. That's pretty cool. Anyway, can't tell you much more about the silver gull. Apart from, uh, I don't think there's any truth to the rumor that they taste like hot chips. And uh, a friend of mine calls them shite hawks. Or shit hawks, if you like. It's uh, fairly self-explanatory. A pretty funny name for them too. You see that one there? Looks like it's got more brownie colored legs. not completely adult yet. So there's Crococephalus novae hollandiae, the silver gull, the Australian seagull. Aussie birds rock. See ya.